You're joking. <laughs> I got you a present. What the Jared might be freaking out and I actually feel a little bit bad. Jesus. The room may have been used as a morgue. Alright guys, so I'm laying on the table. I hear a noise is coming from inside the prison. Who's up there? Can you make another noise? I actually feel really dizzy. Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight, we are back at the old Geelong Jail, one of the most notorious and haunted places in the whole of Australia. Get ready because we're going inside to investigate. Many claims of the paranormal are said to have come out of the old Geelong Jail. People have supposedly seen apparitions, heard lost souls from the past, and been attacked by the unseen within the old prison. Already tonight, we have experienced some strange happenings. Wait, I heard that doorbell again. I just seen a black, I don't know how to describe it. It didn't have form. It just kind of flitted across here. Who are the spirits that like to mess with visitors to this jail? For me, for some reason, I actually feel drawn to that area. Now, we continue to investigate some of the most terrifying areas of the prison, including the former morgue, kitchen, and active cells. All right, guys, welcome back inside the old Geelong jail. I'm really excited to continue this paranormal investigation. If you guys haven't done so already, go check out my part one video. I cover a lot of the dark history about a lot of the different areas of the prison in that video, including some that we're about to head to and investigate now. First place I want to take you guys is the kitchen. And I mean, when you think of kitchen, you don't normally think so scary, but this place kind of is. So let's get going. Scaring the bejeebies out of me. Alright, guys, welcome to the kitchen. Alright, so a couple of uh, spirits thought to be in here. Johnny, young 15 year old boy. We also have a guy called Mr. Nasty because he fills up women. And we also have an entity that was telling people its name was Maggie and coming through as a small girl, yet was later found out it was actually an evil kind of entity. My legs feel weird in this, this room, like goosebumps tingling going up my legs. Maybe because I'm talking about really creepy demonic stuff, I don't know. Uh, this back corner over here is of interest. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to whip out a ghost whip out my phone and start a ghost tube session. I just hit record and in ghost tube session, this is the very insanely creepy kitchen of the old Geelong jail. I'm going to go for a walk through. My name's Amy. I'm looking to communicate with anyone or anything that may be in this room. If you would like to talk to me, I just heard a noise over that way. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. And I'm going to note something is buzzing in the ceiling, like it sounds electrical. Did you just make a clicking noise? It's probably my feet. No, it sounded like... I don't know. What is this? Freaky looking carrot thing. Alright, the magnet ring is going up as I approach this corner, interestingly. Is Maggie around? I know you're not really Maggie.
Okay, it's going up. Kind of high here. And it's super cold on my hand. This is really cool. Alright, who's standing here with me? Can you tell me your name? Are you the fella that likes Iceland? Ooh, Iceland. It's cold as ice in here. Yeah, that is true. Stroke. 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 Do you want to stroke my body? What was it, Mr. Filthy? What was the name of the? Mr. Nasty. Ugh. I've heard there's a man in here who's a bit cheeky. Give you permission to touch me. I don't. Or him. <laughs> Ocean. Ocean. I don't know if that would be relevant. A lot of people came over the ocean here to Geelong. Bit of a stretch. Can you tell me your name? I never get this many words. Like, I'm gonna stay in this corner. Why do you touch the ladies? I'm, I don't think they like it when you do it. I think it's a bit sick. Christian. Are you religious? Or is that the name? Or is that your name? Do you I believe feel in... like you wouldn't be a religious person. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? This corner is weird. Can you just go stand in the corner, Jack? I feel like as I come out of it and go back in, it, like the magnet reader goes up. So either there's some weird magnetic stuff in there or... And you're making me stand here? Well, can you feel how cold it is there? Is that window open up there? That it is. is actually, isn't yeah, it? It is open, okay. okay. Maybe that's why it's a bit colder there. Doesn't explain the magnet reader though. No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know what could affect that in that area. But it's like... Happy. Oh, you're happy? So, Are you happy that we're here? So happy that I'm standing here. Yeah, I bet. Can you say something? Can you use your voice and say something really loud? We were told that this room in particular, the activity is not really visual that happens in here. It's usually like EVPs or voices coming through devices. So, Anne. Ooh, Anne. Courthouse. Jonathan. What the f Anne Courthouse Jonathan. That all seems like old names relevant. Also, as I walked past this. Pardoned. Pardoned? Why? Okay, that's interesting. Was it Anne Jane Courthouse pardoned? Jonathan? Jonathan, sorry. Courthouse Anne pardoned. Torturer. F torturer. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this ghost tube session. It's out of control. It is out of control. I'm getting so many words. Can you give me one more before I stop? What I just wanted to note though, I walked past this. You know when you walk past something quite fast and the air movement of you coming past makes something rattle? I heard that, but I have no idea. Like This thing is solid as... I don't know what I would have made rattle there. Can you make a noise over this side for me? 
That was out of control. That was. I've never used that app before and it's done that much stuff for me. Like I know sometimes for other people the words come out frequently but never on my phone for me. So that's kind of cool. This room has been nice for the ghost tube app. Thank you if there was someone in here that was actually trying to communicate and talk to us. Can you say goodbye? Before I go, you don't want to grope one of us? Amy, not me. Alright guys, we're leaving the kitchen now and we're going to move to our next room. This prison is so large, there's so much to explore and investigate. So many ghost stories and just weird things are, are, that have happened all around here. So, this one. So this room may have been used as a morgue. We actually have like a morgue table here. Real bodies would have been laid upon this and it's not original to this building, but there's believed to be a spiritual attachment to this object. I think I'm gonna do a spirit box in this room and try and reach out and see if we can talk. It's a lady who um, is supposed to be attached to this table. And I'm interested in her history. How do I know why she came with this table? What is her, what is the significance of this table to her? And what exactly she's doing here? Like, they said that she's having trouble moving on, although she wants to. So let's try and talk to her. All right guys, so I was gonna do a uh, spirit box session in here, but since this room is so eerily quiet, I'm gonna opt to do an EVP session and just reach out. Now, I've been told that I'm allowed to lay on this table and that a lot of investigators have been doing that, almost using their own body, being on this That's a train, right? That's brakes. Sounds like someone playing a really bad ba uh, that Scottish uh, bagpipes. Bagpipes, yeah, but really badly. Really, really badly. Okay, it stopped now. I can't remember what I was saying, but I'm gonna. You're like, gonna say that this room was really quiet, huh? Yeah, this room was really quiet. Anywho, I'm gonna lay on the table and almost like use my body as a trigger object. Um, and you see what happens. All right guys, so I'm laying on the table. It feels kind of weird. Like I feel like my arms especially feel weird. Like I don't know where to put them. Like the empire or just, um, I'm just gonna keep them on the side. Is there someone in this room with us? someone outside. I what's freaky though is we're inside a jail with massive like courtyard walls around it. I I'm hearing noises coming from inside the prison. Doors closing like in the prison. Oh really? Yeah. Should we go check it out? Yeah. You don't think we should stay here? Hell no, let's go for other noises. Okay. I actually feel really dizzy. What, well, after getting off the table? Yeah, I got just like, you said there's noises, let's go look, and I got up really fast. <laughs> but, I don't know, my head feels really funny now. 
I'm going to take really funny. You will come back to this room, right? Yeah, I think I will come back. Because that, yeah, let's go. To me, it sounded like so after the chain, the chain. Did you hear that just then? No. What did you hear? Uh, like a dull fud, almost like a, like a bass drum. I don't know what that even sounds like. Just up here. Who's up there? Can you make another noise? You're big tough prisoners, right? Maybe you can pull my hair? I heard that's something that you like to do to the ladies. You also like to scratch the ladies, right? Come on then. So apparently females get hit pretty bad with paranormal attacks in the jail, which given the history and the people kept here would kind of make sense. So what did you hear, Jared? So um, we had the, um, the jingling of chains, which was outside us. definitely outside. Yeah, it sounded like someone was doing something with the car. I don't know what. But then um, I heard like a bang in here, kind of like a door closing or something. It sounded like it came from in here. Like loud? Because I didn't hear that. Yeah, it sounded, sounded like it was echoing throughout this, this place. Let's do the morgue thing. Okay, let's go back to Cause the Because yeah, we plan to do that. All right guys, take two. I'm back on the morgue table and we're gonna just continue this experiment and see if we can get anything to happen in this room. My name is Amy. This is Jared. I heard that there's a lady who follows around this table that I'm laying on. Are you in this room with us? We haven't come here to hurt you or harm you. In fact, I'd like to help you. Could you let us know that you're here? supposedly haunts this table is said to have died during childbirth and supposedly she wants to cross over but refuses to and no one really knows what her connection with this table is or too much about her so I don't know if maybe she was had an autopsy performed on her laying here or where she really came from but her spirit was also said to haunt uh, the place where this table last was, where it was actually originally used. And then when it was brought to the old jail, it kind of just followed this item. So I guess you could say it's actually a haunted object. How does it feel to be laying on a real walk table? It's so creepy. Really creepy. 
Do you want to go? No. Yeah, I'll have a go. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Jared's going to give this a go now. How does that feel? Cold. Yep, it's pretty dumb. Darn? Darn? Darn cold? I'd love to see a face pop up in this window. Who is it that shows themselves in this window? Can you show yourself to me? No, I felt dizzy when I got up. Would you freak out if I said there's a face in the window behind you? Yes. There's not actually one there. That I can see, at least. Maybe this window. Oh. Or are you a bit scared? So. Alright guys, we're about to enter our first haunted cell and chosen 77. Lucky a seven. But the reason we're choosing this one is because apparently recent paranormal investigators entering this room have had a lot of strange phenomena like being touched, pushed, and having all of their equipment suddenly drain a battery. Now obviously that's not ideal for us, but if that happens to us again, that's pretty telling that there's something odd going on in here. Gonna head in. I reckon we'll try a spirit box. Oh. Hello, is everyone home? A little bit of background info on these cells up here. These were like shared cells. So usually prisoners who are better behaved or you know, looking at being released pretty soon. So they were pretty crammed. We were also told that there was no running water or really good facilities here, like you look around. Not like a lot of other prisons, there's no toilet here. Prisoners here had to go on a bucket, and so sometimes these buckets were shared between three or four people. Yeah, they would just go in the bucket, empty that out. It's charming, but do a spirit box and see what happens. Hi, my name is Amy. I want to make... Huh? I want to make contact with any spirits that might be within cell number 77. Can you say the number of the cell that we're in? Five, four. That's not right, is it? Yeah. No, we're in cell 77. Are you playing games with me? Because that's not nice. Thanks. So I'm cutting this spirit box. 
I actually have a wacky idea. Uh, I don't know that there's any hauntings associated, but let's go to cell 54. That's what I heard come through the spirit box when I was asking about what cell we're inside. I don't know that it will mean anything, but let's just go check it out. So we're going to go find cell 54, so this is 77, I have a feeling it might be down a cell, a, a block, a staircase, do you reckon Jared? Yeah, I think so. Down. So I mentioned in part one, that's where a lot of people have seen shadow figure apparitions. Alright, uh, 50, what number did I say again? 54. 54. So we going in there, like why are you filming me for? So we just found cell 54 guys. It actually looks like a creepy one and that's what we heard coming over the spirit box. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there? Yeah you are. You're joking. <laughs> I got you a present. Are these real metal? They're pretty heavy, hey. So what do you want me to do? Where are these and go in there? Yeah, I'm gonna cuff you up. What do you think? I don't wanna do that. No, nah, come on. Why can't you do it? Jared Cam. We haven't done Jared Cam in ages. I can tell you really want to do it. All right. You do it? How long? Well, how lo however long it takes. For what? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in there. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Don't do All it right. too high. Next one. Oh, come on, you baby. I can't do this with one hand and film it. Yeah, cuff yourself up. All right, give me that. All right, good to go. All right, cellmate number, what number are you? 54. Cellmate number 54. Putting you on lockdown? You're gonna get locked with this. No, that's fine. Okay, we just managed to move this so we can close the door. And Jared is so excited about this, aren't you? Started. And you've got cuffs on? Mm -hmm. Alright, Jared Cam commence. And oh, Jesus, how does this work? Oh, f you can actually literally lock this. He's literally locked in. Oh, now a bit of peace and quiet without Jared. It's just me and the haunted gallows. So I'm in room 54. Amy reckons she heard up on the spirit box, which is why we chose this room. It's really, really cold in here. Jesus. You okay in there, prisoner? Yes. Can you not do that? What? Yeah, you can't get out. You're feeble. Where are you going? How long are you going for? I'm just gonna go for a walk. For how long? Like, one minute. Just Jared Cam, you'll be fine. She's locked me in here and walked off. Alright, let's go for a walk, guys. Aren't these creepy? I actually think, oh my god, I have to look in here. Just cold air coming out. So I'm pretty sure that we just locked Jared in one of the gallows cells. So probably where you wait to get executed because just down this end here. 
is the gallows. Are you at the right? How creepy is this place? I can't believe how creepy this is. You know what guys, I'm so excited to share all these Aussie haunts with you. I feel like they're spoken about a lot less than other haunted places around the world. And I don't know why, because this is just insane. I am. Are you out by the door? No. Room 54. Why this room? I think Jared might be freaking out and I actually feel a little bit bad for just leaving him in that cell. So I might go back to him now. But I just want to show you guys like, that's the gallows. And they've caught like shadow figures uh, passing by the gallows before. Super, super creepy. Like, and I would love to see that with my own eyes or capture my own footage of that. Let's look. Only four prisoners were executed here, but that's still creepy that, you know, they have the original hanging beam and all that. I can hear you too much coming back. All right, should I let you out? Yeah. Oh, this thing's pretty stiff. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. Why were you freaking out? I wasn't. You were yelling for me. No, I wasn't. I was just making sure you weren't wandering off too far as well. Oh, did anything happen? No, nah, it's cold in here. Oh, you... You've got your sleeves rolled up and all. Put your beanie on. Cold with a beanie. Alright, should I let you out of those cuffs or not? Yeah, come on. Get these off. No, maybe not. I can get them off anyway. I like you better like that. The old hospital area. They're just freaking me out. What's wrong? People get growled at as they walk by. A real murder weapon. It smells funny, like it almost stinks. You're gonna have to make me leave. Jared's gonna head down the east wing all by himself. What is going on down there? Can you see that? Right, so you want me to go in there? Go in. Chippery cell. This place is pretty creepy. I heard something down there. Let's walk towards the gallows. Thank you so much Crypt Keepers all for watching. This place is amazing. It is huge and there's just too much to explore here. I mean, I've only been here one night. I filmed three episodes here and I still feel like I haven't 
covered it enough. I really want to come back. Let me know if you want to see me come back. And if you guys want to do this tour for yourself, check out Twisted History Tours. They are amazing and they've granted me the special access to do this investigation tonight. So I'm forever grateful to them. If you did enjoy this video though, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to do more reading on the Geelong Jail or other haunted places I've visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.